Today we're going to talk about what you could do this month to build on your emergency food supply and needs. So if you haven't seen already, I did a case lot sale, like a stock up sale for your food storage. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Tons of information on you and how to get going building up a three to six month food supply even a month if you want, whatever your needs are. What we have learned from Texas is that they weren't able, because of electricity, to pay their groceries with their debit cards. A lot of places were saying cash only. So having an emergency cash reserve will definitely come in handy um, when situations arrive where, sorry, we can't use debit cards, we need cash. I did get my monthly Thrive order came in. I also grabbed some new cookbooks called The Prepper's Pantry. And this is build a nutritious stockpile to survive blizzards, blackouts, hurricanes, pandemics, economic collapse, or other disasters. This is by uh, Daisy Luther. So there's 35 menu plans, recipes, and shopping lists. This really intrigued me. So this was a new fun book. I'll leave a link to it down below. Uh, my resources today are from Valerie from thefoodorganizer.com. And I'm also pulling my information from the LDS prepared manual as well. You could work on things weekly or just target certain things in the month Th these are all suggestions I'm not suggesting that you get everything um, that is suggested for the month do what your budget says do what you can do or otherwise this will be so overwhelming if you're working on your three month food storage I have a video on that as well click the link is below everything that I'm talking about is the list for one adult multiply amounts by the number in your family and adjust for kids tomato sauce you can get 12 eight ounce cans of tomato sauce, any tomato varieties, six 15 ounce cans, pasta. So four pounds or one number 10 can of pasta. I have a link to Thrive where you can get cans of freeze dried food. They're wonderful. This is what I use to stock up our food storage. Good food, yummy freeze dried food. Salsa one jar so if there's five in your family you're gonna get five jars of salsa then macaroni and cheese two boxes again if you don't eat macaroni and cheese if you would never eat macaroni and cheese if a disaster happened and you still wouldn't eat the macaroni and cheese don't buy the macaroni and cheese <laughs> so if you do two boxes per person ramen noodles 12 packages i've already started working on ramen recipes and how to bulk them up and bring in that protein so if you want to work on your emergency drinking water which we have seen lately with texas we need to have some emergency water you need 14 gallons total per person um, this is a two-week supply you want to have on hand at any given time two weeks of drinking water for each person in your home so when anytime we go to a store especially Walmart we pick up I always pick up fours I'm, I'm an even number person I always get four gallons of water so we have two weeks for each person of drinking water if you would like a financial reserve and start and, and build up on that you're gonna do each week two dollars a person and and put that money away if that's too much for you in your budget do a dollar 75 cents 50 cents whatever it is start putting a cash reserve away somewhere in your home that when an emergency hits and you could not pay with a debit card you have that cash for groceries or for gas or for diapers or so 20 to 30 year shelf life 12 month supply you can concentrate on pasta dry pasta 16 pounds or four LDS number 10 cans, or any number 10 cans that you can find. So 16 pounds. We have a lot of pasta in our food storage room. Um, whenever there's a sale and I see the low price point that I would buy for pasta, I'll throw some in my cart. If you want to work on first aid, pain medications. Do you have cold medicines, pain medicines, ice packs, thermometers? And this is stuff too that would be good to throw into your 72 hour kit basically a bug out bag to have on hand first aid manual first aid kit splints ace bandages if that's something you want to focus on for the month go for it. if you want to do rice you could get at least 15 pounds per person if you want to go that way or just get 15 pounds for one person to start building up your rice this month you can also concentrate on mayonnaise two jars of mayonnaise if your family doesn't eat a lot of this please don't stock up on it it expires very quickly for me my rule is one in the fridge two on the shelf and we have plenty of recipes throughout the month to use up a jar of mayonnaise especially in the summer when you're doing your salads and things 
uh, a gallon of oil, and two tubs of shortening. Now this is interesting. When I did my long-term food storage video, link below, I talked about in there they suggested having a lot of shortening. Who goes through that much shortening? What I learned from the situation in Texas with it being so cold and losing power, people were using shortening as candles in a heat source to heat their food. And they can turn them into candles. And I was like, that is genius. 25 pounds of sugar and one to 25 pound bag of legumes. So pinto beans, lentils, white beans. If you wanna concentrate on salt, five more pounds. Um, it's good to have salt on hand. I, I just bulk up and do salt like this. So I just grabbed four more to replace what was in there. So these will go in the back and those salt, salts will come forward. It can seem very overwhelming, but do what you can. Do what your budget says. If it's just grabbing a few things of canned tomatoes or just a few pastas, you are one step ahead and that is awesome and that will bring you peace. I mean, I'll have food storage videos, long-term, short-term, links and references all for you down below. See you soon. Bye.